freestyling it tonight. Uh, definitely looking for some conversation if you join in. And so uh, I've got the Juno X set up here, but I do have some of the other scents on, but the cameras aren't covering those. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, take a look at what's going on with the Juno X. So especially if you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, definitely. So other than that, let's, uh, let's just have some fun, huh? So I'm going to move over here, move my microphone a little bit. You know, one of the things that uh, when you pull the Juno right out of the box and the first thing you see, it's set in scene mode, which means it's a, it's got, it's got four voices plus a rhythm part. Uh, so it is, uh, it is polyphonic. It is uh, multi-timbre, I guess you would call it in the old days. Um, and so keep looking back to see if there's any comments. And uh, so each scene is kind of that multi-timbre uh, group. But not every scene has a full arpeggio or beat and what they call the new I arpeggio. But uh, some really cool sounds. Um, Maybe not as warm as my uh, This is the Juno one oh six. wonderful board and one of the things I always loved about the Juno 106 is that the controls are, are very simple of course it's a simple synthesizer uh, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles the extra oscillators and the extra envelopes that some of the newer things like the system 8 over here has um, also a great great sounding synth uh, definitely more complicated to get to work with your DAW and so recording isn't quite as easy so uh yeah so I don't know let's just take a look at this uh Juno X Love it already, and uh, you know uh, that's just a synth sound. This is that was Juno X synth one. There's Juno X synth two. Yeah, definitely kind of more of a pluck, but it's it's layered there, so. Definitely. So let's uh, let's just take a look. I guess what what might end up doing is just kind of doing uh, auditioning. Let's say the Juno X. So I'm doing the bass there with the uh, old Juno 106 uh, just to create kind of a variety. Uh, but that was fun. got a little bit of delay on that i don't know if we we um layer it or or use that for bass or something that might be kind of cool let's see what the next sound is it's a juno x bass so that's kind of cool now um because these are scenes and they're already set up perhaps with some arpeggio, uh, it will run an arpeggio or it will run an I arpeggio. And the I arpeggio is like intelligent 
a intelligent arpeggio, which basically means it's going to try to come up with some parts that go along with what you're playing. In this case, I'm thinking it's going to be more of a just a regular arpeggio. <laughs> That's cool. Um, another, oh, did I jump? That was Juno X bass brass. <laughs> Wonder if I can get this some more. Like I said, feel free to comment uh, as you're listening. Let's see what's next. Hoover. That's not going to be very conducive to me playing something, but here's a pluck. Still a pretty cool sound, huh? Yeah, I wonder how that's made up. So uh, you can go in here and you can see uh, how many parts are on. Only one part is on. You can put on. That sounds kind of fun. Uh, I'm not exactly excited about the bass down here. That's one of my favorite sounds on my Juno 106. Let's see what else we got here. Pad and pluck. So let us try the next one. I just keep checking back. Sorry, I know I'm rubbernecking here. Let's see what the next sound is. I'm not going to go through everything, but brass. Those are always fun. Flowing time. So I think for each group, there's there's a group, and then there's up to 15 scenes for each one. And uh, like the first... Um, ten, up to 10 are just sounds uh, first just regular sounds and layered sounds uh, then uh, they've got some arpeggios going and then at the very end are the I arpeggios where you can do the whole beat so let's just uh, now to the uh, 
change that uh times but that's still kind of cool this says split wave split so it's kind of cool Shredder split. Fun times, yeah. Okay, so here we get to the beats, and the um, there's a number of sounds going on. There's usually a beat, and the way that our, the I arpeggio works is the more you play, more active, the different notes, it will increase, say, the the beat and and the amount of probability that certain notes will hit. So that's kind of interesting. So you just start off with the bass. <laughs> So I don't have hold on, so I, there's a little bit of misstep, I think, when I move. Yeah, so maybe it would be better if I did hold. I don't know. Let's find out. Still a little off, isn't it? Yeah, so it's... I, that one's a little hard to play with. Um, that is one thing I have come across a little bit on some other arpeggio ones. Here's another one. Some of these I arps are just kind of crazy speed. Well, depends on the kind of music you're doing, right? That's, that's that's enough of that for me. All right, let's jump to uh, number two. Scene. Oh, I already jumped all the way. Juno. Now it's Juno 106 sounds. According to this, at least the best of the patches are called. <laughs> Pretty good, uh, definitely. First, the difference is that um, there are some effects that you can add to this uh, on the board. There's like a reverb and delay, and there, there's a chorus. You have the regular choruses, like uh, you may have the chorus one, a chorus two, and you could put them together on the 106. Uh, you have three three choruses here, as well as 
uh, multi-effects, which can do some additional things like drive overdrive, which 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 definitely can can make something sound cool. Yeah, that's definitely cool. Still not sure. <laughs> Guess about 17 minutes, huh? Well, let's wrap this up at about 20 minutes. Let's kind of just jump around a little bit. That's a nice sound. This is called Velvet Juno. there well it's pretty pronounced actually uh let's see multi arpeggio juno edge <laughs> nice thing is uh you know if you find something there that you kind of like it can inspire you you can pull all those parts out into your DAW and MIDI parts and then play it and make your changes change your sounds uh you know and and really customize it to something that's yours rather than something that's in the board so I think that some of these iRPEGIOs are, are something to really help uh what's the word um inspire you I'm switching back over to inspire you to uh, to to uh, uh, new things I guess that's more than I can not my not my not my speed uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you probably guys have probably already heard this like a million times for me but there are a couple here I like at the end let's see what this sounds like kind of fun then you've got my favorite one we'll close with that uh, I'm gonna put the hold on and then you just go ahead and start and it just gonna <laughs> Base. 
There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, joining me. Uh, feel free to leave comments and I'll respond back even after the video's over. And uh, you guys have a good night. We'll talk to you later.